Hi, my name is Srđa Popović and this is Everyday Rebellion. Our tip for today is about tactics. When you say non-violent struggle, you normally think about the big mass of the people concentrated on the street, the rallies in front of the assembly, the occupying of the space. This is the picture media gives you. In fact, this is just a small part of what really exists in non-violent struggle repertoire, and these are the tactics of concentration. Tactics of concentration rely on the fact that you concentrate all of your resources in one place. You put a lot of people in a very small place in a small amount of time. Sometimes tactics of concentrations are very useful, normally for the end game or the last stage of the non-violent struggle. Practically, you should be focused on what is called the tactics of dispersion. That means you disperse your activities, your activists throughout the town, throughout the country, and this what creates the dilemma and the horror for your opponent. Small, low-risk tactics of dispersion were crucial not only in Serbian struggle, I will remind you on hitting pots and pans every evening from the window, not only in Chilean struggle when Pinochet was harsh and threatening to kill the protesters, they just decided one day to walk half speed and drive half speed and immediately brought Santiago de Chile to the standstill. But they were also useful in the latest events in the Arab Spring. You can imagine this small acts of resistance, small groups of people leaving Tahrir Square in order to occupy some other places in Egypt. Never stop testing what you have on the repertoire and forget about big rallies and marches, especially if you're opposing the very repressive regime. Small acts of resistance are proven to be very, very useful in many different oppressive countries.